Hello, this is me just doing a short little video once more. Today I thought about talking about magic and protection. And some of the problems I learned uh, around uh, the years, throughout the years. I'm especially talking about doing protection for others and I put three different scenarios here. One is when you do for a business charity or entity like that and they need a specific protection or a person or maybe a, a parent and a child or, or maybe three persons in a family. And then there's the third option, the specific location or address. And uh, something that often occurs once in a while, especially with the many things, there are too many wills uh, involved, um, involved. But uh, that's somewhat easy as long as they have the same goal. And then there's the when the person changes uh, their mind and they don't uh, communicate with you. Or they might lie to you about the cause why they need protection. And that creates the cause and effect uh, situation. Where it can turn a little bit like a vampiric and sour very quickly. And when you work with more than one person... It can drain you dry, especially if you engraved and made uh, amulets or talisman during the planetary hours or whatever. And you created those objects yourself for a longer period of time. When you, at least I found out that when I have engraved and uh, really done... Uh, it on planetary hours, that when it can really drain me up since you spend so much time doing that, so I think that's the cause. And uh, especially when I was younger, I never set the end date since you want to help everybody who asks for your help, it's like that. And uh, then there is that you don't always have the opportunity to destroy an object. And uh, when it comes to a specific location or address, that is always simple and say, straightforward as long as the land or address don't shift owner. Uh, I've tried to find this in different mythologies as well as in doctrines. And when somebody owns a uh, bit of land, they always have their spiritual authority over it. So... The land has the uh, pantheon or the spirits that the owner is connected to, that there might be a change there. And if they have a completely different beliefs or they have new ideas for how to develop the land or um, the building, that's, uh, it might be wise to stop the protection. There are so many people that when they, let's say their business goes out of work or something like that, that they forgot to tell you that they don't need your services anymore. And that's when these mistakes happen to me. And here are some things I always ask to, as I got wild, older and wiser. Uh, wiser we can discuss, but old anyhow. I always ask for their personal beliefs and uh, deities, which one they work with. And if many people don't have really a, a connection, they might think they have, but sometimes it's just that um, their grandmother used one and they say the same name. And in that case, I have to address the deity and ask if the deity is willing to work with me. And I might get a no. It's really, it only happened two or three times in my whole life. And, um, and if they have a different pantheon, that saves a lot of time. 
Since then you know that uh, their family's deity or patron or a matron is willing to work with you as well. And uh, when it comes to business and uh, entities like that, <coughs> if it's a charity, um, ask what their main goal is. If it's like helping homeless or an animal shelter, and they have the same goal is to help the animals or the homeless. That is usually very simple and easy protection since you focus on the goal and they don't change their opinions. But sometimes there comes these new bosses or something and they are, their intent is to just focus on how to get tax reduction or make a big profit or political popularity and um, whatever some people do and uh, they don't care about the animals or the homeless anymore and uh, that can create problems so that's when I cut off all the bosses and all the leadership and just focus let's say on the those who work directly with animals or um, or uh, humans. And uh, if they don't follow the original con uh, contract, let's say that they, they start treating the animals poorly or the people poorly, that's, I cut it off right away. And then there's a little bit more about the land. Since uh, if there is a house, a street, or a specific building, or fields, or forest, and a personal pantheon or religion. And if you have done this for another person, and maybe the person has um, left this world, it might be difficult to get an object back so you can destroy it or end it. But in that case you have to also take back your own energy and everything and cut off all the ties. And here's just some simple math where I, what I did wrong when I was young. If you help, let's say, five persons a year with uh, protection, it can be that a man... Uh, mistreated her or beat her or or bullying at school or whatever and in only five years it turns out to 25 people and and since I'm a little bit whimsical and forgetful as I'm always focused on uh, my work and uh, the magic I do so I can completely forget uh, what I've done uh, some years prior that is draining, especially when they, when you forget to call back your power there. So this was just some simple thoughts. And then I have a other thought. These are my friend's ritual jewelry. That is a snake. And that's the dragon and... Uh, crystal ball. What shall I do uh, with this? Uh, his grimoire, he had angelical seals and angelical seals in my old way we uh, bury it in the grave in the ground near a church so that they are laid to rest so they can't be reused. But these are real jewel jewelry and uh, they are beautiful and he wanted to pass this on but his uh, grandchild uh, don't want anything to have to do with the occult or something like that and now I just wonder and I don't want to bury this down somewhere since it's I think it's tin and bronze or brass and this is I'm not sure if this is gold or brass my eyesight is bad but I thought if anybody has been in this position that you own, I have more magical things that you inherit from someone who wanted to give them to someone new 
after their passing and what can I do or how can I get rid of it if it comes to that. Uh, please leave a comment on that and have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.